Today, we are joining you from traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabek, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to the many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Metis people. We would also like to acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Friday for Feelings. My name is Jen and my pronouns are she and her. Today for Fridays for Feelings, we're going to read a little spot of feelings. Emotion Detective. Written and illustrated by Diane Alber. I look at all the colors. I, lo I love this book. This has a uh, but tries to explain emotions and feelings really well, and it's beautiful colors. So let's begin. A little spot of feelings. Hi, my name is Scribble Spot, and I am a little spot of feelings. I'm so good at spotting and naming feelings, I actually became an emotion detective. They ask, how did you become an emotions detective? It all started when I was tangled with emotions. Look at all these colors and faces are trying to show you that he's mixed with all these different feelings. So I spent a lot of time learning all about emotions. I learned that emotion spots can show up for many reasons. They can show up to help when people say and do things and when things happen to you. Then these emotions start to create feelings. Feelings are very important, but when you don't know how you are feeling, it can be hard to explain what you need or how someone can help you. Sometimes an emotion can create too many feelings and they can get jumbled up together. So see how they're all there together and they're mixed up obviously and there's no color, so that's not very happy, right? So I made these feeling cards to help you name your feelings. All right, that's cool. Let's see what he named them. And then when I say these feelings, you can see if you have them too, or if you've ever felt this way. When you learn how to name your feelings, it will help you get along with other people better and solve problems. Then you will be on your way to becoming an emotion detective, just like me. So here are different faces that match different emotions. So this one is happy. See, smiling. This one looks angry because he doesn't have a happy face on. He has an angry face on. <laughs> this one is pink. And pink normally means love and kindness. Green, this one is peaceful. Peaceful is when you're just happy and content doing what you're doing, playing with your toys, reading a book, taking a nap. Peaceful, peaceful. This one is anxious. Anxious can be a feeling that is very hard to explain, but it makes you feel really kind of hyper, but not happy, and you kind of don't know how you feel. You don't know happy, mad, sad, it's all mixed together, so that can make you feel anxious. And then blue is for sad, sad, and then this orange one is for confident. 
good. So feeling strong and feeling that you can do whatever you want to do. And even if you don't do it right, you can just try again and it'll make you feel confident. Wow, look at all these faces and emotions and feelings. One trick I use a lot is this feelings chart. Can you point out how you are feeling now? Let's see, I'm up this page. We have loved, shy, anxious, upset, silly, calm, joyful. Wow, look at all these. I will take a picture of this page at the end uh, and have a slide all on its own so that you children can look a little closer at the faces. But let's go on with our story. Another trick I like to use when spotting feelings is to look at face movements. Use a mirror to look closely at your eyebrows, eyes, and your mouth. You will see how they move when you show your feelings. Other clues are the ways your body moves and how you stand. This is called body language. So see here, he's standing with a, his back is all hunched over and his frown is like that, which means he's sad or mad. He has his little anxious uh, emoji there next to him. Or you can tell how somebody's feeling by the sounds they make. So if someone is screaming, ah, or yelling, and they have a little red spot next to them, what do you think they're feeling? They're feeling angry. That's right. Now, use these clues to spot your own feelings and name it. Let's look at a peaceful spot. So remember, peaceful was green. When it shows up, it can make you feel relaxed and calm. That's right. Peaceful clues are relaxed eyebrows, focused and learning eyes, soft voice and soft breathing, and is ready to learn. That is a peaceful face. Once you name it, the final step is to say it and give a reason why. Start with, I feel, when, and fill in the rest. So when do you feel peaceful? I feel relaxed when I listen to classical music. So that's how she feels relaxed. I feel calm when I draw. You can also feel at ease when you're listening to music. You feel creative when you're drawing. Great job! Now let's look at some more feelings. This is your happiness spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel excited and delighted. Happiness clues are eyebrows raised, eyes are crinkling, see? smiling here you get the little crinkles there your eyebrows are raised because you're smiling mouth corners are turned up so see I'm smiling and here's the corners of my mouth and they're turned up right when do you feel happy I feel delighted when I make a new friend that's right me too I am excited when I learn something new. Oh, me too. What else can you feel excited about? Maybe you can talk at home to your family about why you feel happy or when you feel excited. This is your love spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel loved and appreciated. Love clues are eyebrows raised, mouth turned upwards smiling, 
wrinkled eyes, and blushing and rosy cheeks. When do you feel love? I bet when you give your uh, caregiver at home, maybe your mommy or your daddy or your grandma or your caregiver, I bet you when you give them a hug, you feel love and they definitely feel love for you. So I feel appreciated when I get a thank you card. I feel loved when my dog kisses me. Uh, me too. <laughs> loved. Yeah, look at the little hearts in the eyes. That's right. This is your anxiety spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel scared or nervous. Anxiety clues are eyebrows are raised up and wrinkled, head and eyes look down, slouching and not smiling, sweaty and maybe having a tummy ache. That can happen when you feel anxious, right? So you can be, you know, like this, you know, really frown face and, um, well, it was in the other page, but the, the, the person was really, his back was arched and he wasn't uh, looking upwards, he was looking at the floor. That can make you feel anxious and it's just a whole jumble of feelings. I feel scared when I hear a noise outside. That can make you feel anxious. Some, some children might feel anxious when they're in the dark, which is why you maybe have a nightlight at home. I feel nervous when I meet new people. Yeah, sometimes if you go to a new school or if you meet new friends, sometimes you can feel nervous to meet new people. This is your sadness spot and it's blue. When it shows up, it can make you feel sad or left out. Some sadness clues are eyebrows turned up watery eyes <laughs> like that mouth turned down hands could be covering the face when do you feel sad i feel left out when no one will play with me that can make somebody feel very sad left out feeling left out i feel sad when i miss someone so maybe sometimes when you go to school, you get sad because you miss your, your family or your caregiver at home. But what happens at the end of the day? They always come back, right? Yeah, but it could still make you sad. And it's okay to be all these feelings. This is your anger spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel frustrated or irritated. Anger clues are eyebrows are lowered or turned down. Eyes are very focused. Mouth is frowning. Arms are crossed or you have a strong, strong voice. When do you feel angry? I feel frustrated when I can't find something. Oh, that's happened to me before. I feel irritated when I miss a basket. Or maybe you're trying to build something and it keeps falling down. That can make people frustrated sometimes. Or maybe if you're at home with your brother or your sister, sometimes they take what you're playing with. And that can make you feel angry and frustrated. Yeah. This is your confidence spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel proud and brave. Confident clues are eyebrows are relaxed, you have good eye contact, your mouth corners are turned up and smiling, and you have a strong voice. When do you feel confident? I feel brave when I sing. I feel proud when I work hard. That's right. Or maybe if you go to school for the first time, or if you go to daycare for the first time without feeling scared, that means you feel brave and you're confident. Yeah. 
Once you learn how to name your feelings, you will discover new things about yourself. It will also make you feel amazing. Did you know that being able to spot your own feelings helps you spot them in other people? What feelings is everyone else experiencing? So, are you ready to start training to be an emotion detective? I bet you can do it now. Right, everybody? Maybe you can go with your brother or your sister or your family, somebody, and then you can practice your emotions. Maybe you could say, do you know what I'm feeling when I look like this? And that's happy, right? So you could practice at home. And this is a great book and I'm happy that you all shared it with me and I will see you next week for more Friday for Feelings. See you next time, bye. Okay, so here's a picture of all the feeling spots. So all the colors represent the different feelings. So the red spots are for angry feelings and the orange are for confident, yellow for happy, green for peaceful, and so on and so forth. Take some time to look through the chart and, and you can tell how you're feeling someday. If you can't express it, then you can just point to the face that makes you feel how you feel on this day.